Hello everyone, welcome back and I hope you're all doing well. In this lesson, we are going to look at one of the techniques from the investment appraisal process and this one is called the accounting rate of return. The same process is also known as the average rate of return, so they're both the same thing. And what the ARR, as it's known for short, sure, tells a business is whether the business's investment will reap enough yearly profit for it to go ahead with it or not. So if you put in some money, how much am I getting in return from it every year? Of course, if you put your money down in any business, uh, and of course you would like to know how much will you be making every month and in turn how much you'll be making in the entire year. And that's where the ARR technique will help you to figure it out as it measures the annual profitability of a project in comparison to its initial investment. So what did you have to give up in the form of your investment? And what did you get in return in the form of your profitability? So as we can see, there, there are a couple of sides to this explanation here or this definition. First is that you will need to make some form of an investment, of course. So let's say that's something here. And in return, what you're looking for is your annual rewards, right? And that's what the whole process is all about. Now let's assume that the investment that the business is about to make is a is an acquisition of a business where they're going to buy out an already established business. Let's say it's a restaurant and you're ready to put the money down, make the investment and make this restaurant your own. Before you do this, you've got to make sure that you're making the right decision financially. And therefore, the reserves or the returns that you get from it should be worth the investment you're about to make in this restaurant. So you've got to make sure that the investment that you made are bringing in the right type of rewards on an annual basis. And the ratio of this is what ARR tells us. So now let's look at the steps that you'll have to take whenever you're faced with a question on ARR. You will remember that in order to conduct any of the investment appraisal techniques, you need four pieces of information. So let's first make sure that we have those in the question that we are given. First thing that you need is the initial cost of capital, which is given in year zero. So we are told here that you put in $5 million, that's in buying a machine. Secondly, you need to know how many years you'll keep the investment for, and we can see that that's for four years. You also need to know the residual value, and we've been told that that's part of this three million. We don't need to know exactly what the amount is, as long as we know that it's been included in the final year of the, the machine or the investment. And finally, you need to know yearly net cash flows, and we are given that for each year. So when I go through this table, the information that I'm given, I read it like this. Year zero is when I'm actually making the investment, the very moment that's considered at year zero. At year zero, when I buy something, my machine here, I buy it for $5 million, and the bracket indicates that that is a cash outflow. I am $5 million lighter at this point. Exactly a year later, when we sit down, we figured out that during that year, we made $2 million from that investment. In year two, the same. Year three, the same. In year four, I'm guessing another $2 million of cash inflow and $1 million from residual value. So you've got some cash flow coming in. And you will be given this table every time you need to calculate ARR. Now, calculating ARR is not a simple method of a formula. It is a process. And there are four steps that if you follow, just like they're being shown here, you will always get the ARR process right. The first step in the whole process is adding up all the positive cash flows in your data. All the positive cash flows, I'm gonna highlight that in yellow, and highlight all the positive cash flows in my table in yellow as well. So that makes this 2 million plus 2 million plus 2 million plus 3 million. So I know now that the total cash inflows from my investment is 9 million. That's my step number one. From there, I go to step number two. And my step number two is that I have subtract my initial investment amount from my 
9 million. I'm going to highlight my initial investment amount in blue. So that's 5 million here. Now I know that from the 9 million that I earned from the four years, I had to first put down 5 million, which gives me a total value of 4 million. Then you get your step number three. And step number three is that you divide this amount of 4 million by the lifespan to get your annual profit. So if this is what you're earning over four years. How much will you be earning every year? You divide by the number of years. And we're given the lifespan of the business of this investment here. So you can see from year zero to year four. So that's four years. Now at this point, I will take my value from step number two of four million dollars divide that by my lifespan of four which tells me that the annual profit from this investment looks like one million dollar step one step two step three has led us to this amount called annual profit then we get to the final step in our ARR process which is applying the formula of ARR which looks something like this ARR percentage is annual profit divided by initial investment times 100. Now this initial or the annual profit, I should say this amount is coming from, as you can see, step three here, here. So you simply plug this in and if I wanna calculate my ARR now, this would be my numerator, annual profit of 1 million and my denominator is, of course, my initial investment was 5 million. That goes here in the denominator, 5 million multiplied by 100, since this is a percentage. And what I find out is that from this investment, the company could expect an annual profit on average of 20% each year. 20%. If you put 5 million down, you earn 9 million across 4 years with 5 million of investment, the, re the returns that you get equate to 20% per annum. And the way we calculated ARR, this is a repeatable process. Every time you follow these four steps, you go from step one to two, to three, of course, you got all the way to step four, plug in the formula, and you get the percentage that you're looking for. That's how you use the information to calculate accounting yield return.